Hello, I'm Juliette Sali. In this week's edition of IG Macro Intelligence, we take a look at the outlook for oil prices amid geopolitical risks. Commodity markets have surged in the wake of military clashes between Israel and Hamas in the Middle East. Global crude Brent and the US WTI contract surged by more than 4% each following the weekend attacks on fears of potential shortages. The primary spillover from geopolitical conflicts is often reflected in a jump in oil prices amid supply and demand concerns. In February 2022, oil markets also saw significant spikes as Russia invaded Ukraine. The jump in oil prices at the start of the week followed a downtrend last week. Crude oil prices had fallen around 8% a barrel in just two sessions, the steepest decline for both benchmarks since May. The slump was predominantly driven by fears of easing demand as the US summer driving season ends and despite OPEC Plus members agreeing to maintain output production cuts. A key focus of further volatility will be Iran as there are concerns that supplies could be choked if the nation is dragged into the conflict. The fighting could also derail U.S. efforts to broker a rapprochement between Saudi Arabia and Israel, which might impact the Arab countries lifting oil output next year and its normalising ties with Israel. Some analysts say this week's price action has been a knee-jerk reaction and is likely temporary. Analysts also note the conflict does not directly put any major source of global oil supplies in danger as neither side is a key market player. Data from the US Energy Information Administration shows Israel is home to two refineries with a combined capacity of nearly 300,000 barrels per day. Meanwhile, EIA data shows the Palestinian territories produce no oil. And despite mounting calls for climate change, OPEC does not believe we've witnessed peak oil demand. The organisation has indicated that by 2045, the world will need 116 million barrels of oil per day, pointing to growth in demand from China, India, Africa and the Middle East. And that is your IG macro intelligence for today. We'll see you next week.